Hey everyone, it's Elsie here from the customer success team. And true to form, Keela has some spooky updates. We've been busy releasing new features. Uh, watch this video to find out what we've got in store. We've added a new column to the columns option when you're within the contacts table. So you can access this by clicking on columns and heading down to the new column, which is here, contact type. We've also changed the name of this column. It used to be type previously, but we've changed it to company type. Since we've introduced this new column, we wanna make everything nice and obvious. So click save, and now you'll be able to view company type and contact type wherever that information is populated, uh, if you like. We've also introduced some other columns for our intelligence features. So I'm just gonna uncheck these and show you what we've got. So if you go down here, you'll see some wonderful intelligence ones. We've got donor score, engagement stage. Um, we've got some major gift amount, major gift donor down here. Smart ask is up there. Time of year is on there. Uh, best way to reach out is another one. A full list you can find in the email that we've sent as well. So you can get a view, uh, a view of what they are and also link to some help articles as well. But once you save them and update them, all that information is gonna pull into these columns. So it can be a really great way of sort of looking at your, at your contacts and viewing their donor scores at a glance. You see that I've got beautiful Ellen Ripley, the star of the movie Alien at the top. Um, my favorite contact of all, she's brilliant. If you head over to your personal settings and skip to the BCC forward emails tab, you'll notice this brand new section at the bottom that we've introduced uh, where it will show any emails that you BCC or forward to us uh, where we can't associate them with contacts. And I'll show you what I mean. So I'm just gonna copy this um, forward code here because I'm wanting to forward an email into my Keeler account. Say I wanna forward this email here to uh, my contacts profile, Elsie Coffee's profile in my Keeler account. When you click forward, your email provider will automatically create this header. So the, it says forwarded message or it'll be something like this. Uh, and you'll have from and a date and a subject and a to. And most importantly, you'll have this email address in the from section of your header. And this whole information is what Keeler uses to match up your emails with the correct contacts. So if you delete this, this section here, previously the email wouldn't be able to come through to Keeler. Uh, it, it, because this section's gone, Keeler would no longer be able to recognize it and it wouldn't get put on anybody's contacts. But now if you delete the header, Keeler will still be able to receive it it will just go into this section here where you, where all of these are unassociated. So it will only be relevant if you ever accidentally delete that header. It's just kind of a fail safe to make sure that you still get the email and, and, and you're still able to rectify that mistake. So if I jump into personal settings now, it should have loaded and there it is. So you can see that we've received one forward email. So someone in my organization has used this forward email code, but they removed the header. So Keela wasn't able to match it up with the contact. But that's okay. I can just jump in and click it here and I can edit the contact and just send it to Keela customer success team. So if you um, ensure that you keep this header here, so forward, when you, whenever you forward, just make sure that you keep the header here when using uh, BCC or forward emails. But if you don't, if you forget to, or if you delete it, not to worry, it'll end up in here and you'll be able to fix it later. If you have SendGrid integrated with your Keeler account and you've chosen to connect your own sort of organization's domain, you'll be able to now send any automatic receipts that have been uh, sent out because a donation was logged through a donation form or maybe in app in Keeler. You'll be able to send them all from the outbound email address that you selected. So don't forget to update it in here if you haven't already. Your outbound email uh, for your organization can be edited here. So just make sure you've connected to SendGrid uh, and then updated this if you're wanting to take advantage of that new feature. 
This has been quite a popular uh, request. I'm really excited to see this one released. You can now export a PDF, uh, export an eblast to a PDF. So just make sure it's a sent eblast. Uh, click on actions and then click export eblast. And here's how it will look. It'll sort of export it in uh, Adobe PDF format. Just click download. Bob's your uncle. We've added a new slider to let you adjust the size of your logo. So you can access this in the receipts and email section of uh, your organization settings. Under receipt details, click manage and edit. When you add a logo, let's go this one here, click upload. Then you can see this little slider here. So you can sort of change it uh, to suit the branding. If you've got a really big logo, you can make it sort of smaller so it fits in, or if you've got a tiny logo, you can make it bigger so that everything is balanced on the page. We've introduced the ability to add smart codes to your receipt emails, confirmation emails, and even direct emails. Uh, so in the receipts and emails section of organization settings again, just in the any of these emails, manage the email here, click edit, and then you'll see this new smart codes feature here. So it's, it'll be a really cool way to customize or really personalize your receipts. So I'm going to say, dear, click here, and I'm going to choose smart name. Smart names are a really cool smart code that we have um, because it does a little bit of thinking for you. If you use the smart, smart name, uh, smart code, it will look for first name, uh, look for preferred name first, and then if there's nothing there, it'll go to first name. If there's nothing there, it will go to full name. So this way you can send it out to individuals and companies at the same time. A really cool way of personalizing that. Click save and you're good to go. Just make sure you update all of your emails in here if you're wanting that customization and feel free to use it in your direct emails. Moving forward, you can find these in contacts, navigate back here. And when I'm creating a new email, Smart Codes is here as well. So I can pop that in there if I like. Let's go first name this time. We have a new and improved soft credits transaction tab. So you can find this nestled in the fundraising tab of your contacts profiles. So I head to a contacts profile, go to fundraising and you'll find it here and you'll be able to view all of the donations that this contact is connected to via a soft credit. We've added a new column to the fundraising tab based on some feedback that we had. Uh, in the previous version, before this release, your transactions were automatically organized by the date that they were created in Keela. But of course, everyone said, hang on a second. Sometimes the donations that we're creating are from a couple of months ago. So the, the order was, uh, was wrong. So what we've done is we've uh, added a new date received column here and replace the old column that we had, date created here. So if you wanna see your most recently created donations, you can use this date created column, uh, but then the, the default column will be date received, which is sort of whatever our feedback was from everyone that you wanna be able to sort by the donation date itself, not the date that it was created. So now you have both options because we love flexibility here. Thanks for the feedback. In the uh, designer tab of forms, you'll see a new option for form information. And what this will do is it will allow you to change the backgrounds of your questions and the font colors of any questions that you add. So that's something we received a lot of. We wanted more sort of customization over here uh, and, we've, and we've added it. So I'll show you what it looks like. I'll change it to a really garish pink here. So you can see that. See how it's changed this section here. And then let's change the font color to a really bright white so you can see that. And see how it's, we've changed that now. So even more kind of options to match your branding. If you navigate to your personal settings in your Keeler account and click on integrations, uh, you'll see that we've added the ability to connect your Google Calendar 
to your own Keeler account. So we'd previously uh, released the ability to connect your Google login, but on top of that, now we've got another feature, uh, the ability to connect Keeler to your Google Calendar. So this is really cool. You'll be able to connect your uh, to-dos and upcoming due dates to your Google Calendar. You'll never miss a task. That's all for now, folks. Enjoy your Halloween, and thanks again for sharing your thoughts and your feedback with us. We couldn't have done this release without you, and we really uh, value the time that everyone takes to share share their ideas, for new processes, and new features with us. They're really inspiring. Uh, look forward to our release next month. Up and coming. Stay tuned.